Oh, Paul Source Jr. Just did you just flood that toilet, Paul Source Jr.? You're a bad man. I always knew it. Look at Paul Source Jr. run from the flooded toilet. It was him, sir. I saw him do it. He flooded the toilets. <laughs> Whacked in the shower. I'm gonna go through his, his pants. Oh, Paul Source Jr. has a dead rat in his pocket. Oh, where you go with him? Hey. Hey, what's going on, guys and gals? Welcome to The Escapist 2. How I've missed that theme song so much. It's been, what, a year or so since the last time I played The Escapist, the original game? Uh, maybe even longer than that. But Escapist 2 is now out on Steam for pre-purchase only. You can buy it now, but it doesn't unlock until August 22nd. I will, of course, put a link down below in the description. It is $19.99 US monies, and it's available for, will be... Windows, Mac, and also Linux. Developed and published by Moldy Tooth and Team17. Just wanted to give them a shout out for providing me with this code, a preview copy of the game. This is the Escapist 2 beta uh, for your eyes only. So we're going to jump in and get some gameplay going here, but first and foremost, I should show you around. Some of the stuff is not working, like Criminal Record and Leaderboards, because it is a preview build after all. But they will be active in the final product. But check this out. My characters. You can now have up to 10 of your own custom prisoners. And in fact, check this guy out. It's Punchwood, La Cucaracha. The most famous escapist in all the world and legend in his own mind. <laughs> Some of you might recognize him from my old playthroughs with the original Scapist, right? And uh, you can choose your head shape, your skin color. You can put some hair on his head. You can give him a five o'clock shadow like I've done here. And you can even choose hats like my boonie. And there's glasses as well, or you can just go without. So pretty cool stuff. So now we have Punchwood. There's also a versus mode. This is a sort of like a race. The first player to escape wins. The game only lasts one day. No routines, no quests, no snipers. Um, so obviously, yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's multiplayer now. But multiplayer also exists in the regular game. You can play cooperatively in the, um, in the prison as a team. And I, I don't really know much about it yet, but I imagine I'm probably going to be doing some multiplayer at some point down the road. But in this preview build, we only have the Precinct 17, which is a single-player only tutorial prison. Very, very short. It takes about five minutes and teaches you some very basics. And then we have the old Center Perks, but this is version 2.0. And this is where we're going to start right here. Let's, um, let's jump into a new game and get it rolling. Click on an empty slot. And now we get to customize our inmates and guards. And look at them all. There's so many more than the old game. And check it out. We now... Oh, look at Paul Source Jr. is here as well. So Punchwood is going to be under my control, but there's also a Paul Source Jr. in here. So this is kind of a little shout out from the developers to uh, some YouTubers that played the game. Like Martin Littlewood, there he is, and even looks like him, sort of. We got Dan TDM down here. Oh, he's a guard, though. Oh, oh we're going to have to wreck him. And if you don't like what you got, you can just click on Randomize and get a whole new cast of characters. Although I do wish they had a way to turn off YouTuber names. Because sometimes you just want to get random nonsense names. Uh, particularly when you have a history with them like I do in the, my old series. But for now we're just going to have to go with what we got. And I think I want to make sure Paul Soros Jr. is an inmate. Because that should be fun. Very good. Now let's go ahead and start the game. Alright now we get to choose our character. And of course we have our Punchwood character here. Uh, chosen automatically for us because that's the last one I played with and now we got a little bit of a cutscene here We got the warden welcoming us to center perks 2-0. Well, I guess we should follow him Roll call is mandatory. The prison will lock down if you are not present. Does this guy think we're noobs? Dude I've been through this before not my first time around the block, you know food served here will increase your energy Escape attempts will be reported to our control room. Check out the control room and these guys, these guys are serious. Increase your intelligence by reading the books. And it shows you the library right here. See the bookshelf? Someone's in there right now. Got the gym equipment to increase strength and speed. You can earn some money by visiting our job officers. We will allocate one of these rooms for you to stay in. As you can see, we have a film crew with us a while. Yeah, we've got a film crew walking around. I don't know exactly what they do. But maybe we can uh, we can interrupt them somehow. I know the warden said not to, but we're going to anyway. All right, so here we are. We're in the uh, current bl block is lights out. 
So we're just lying in bed right there, catching some Z's. And the alarm's gonna go, of course, and then roll call! Just like the old days. Oh man, it's good to be back in prison! You can sit now, too. Whoa! Oh, wrong thing. You can sit now, too, and get some energy back. Anyway, let's get the roll call. Let's follow everybody. Everybody's running. Bobby, where are we going? I'm new here. Look at this guy. Primley's carrying a baseball bat. <laughs> All right, so now we got our three guards here. And we got roll call. Let's grab some quests. We got all kinds of people here with tons of quests. We got a lot of people shopping. Oh, Paul Source Jr. Hi, I'm your biggest fan. Now, in the old Escapist 1, Paul Source Jr. was in the game, but he was a warden occasionally, right? So now we, we're going to get a favor. So this is Bobby. He wants a tub of talcum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. And now we have a little um, quest tracker. So that's kind of new. And we'll grab another one from uh, Jody. The conductor. Jody, me and a band going to be back on the road one day. Would you kindly track us down some fresh instruments? Yes. I'm going to snatch a whole bunch of these. So the two people getting the shakedown, Leming, Leeming and Jules. We just have to keep an eye on that. Not right now because we don't have any contraband. But we might have to. Someone wants a beat down. I'm not ready for beat downs. Come on, man. I just got here. I got to work on my, my muscles. Oh, Martin Littlewood. Hey, I love your videos, man. Good job. All right. You know what? I'm going to cut. Listen, I'm a very important person. I am La Cucaracha. You guys, I'm sure you've all heard of me. So we'll sit down here, have some chow. We don't need it right now because our energy is full up anyway, but we're just going to be one of the lemmings just like everybody else. Oh, we got to go. We got to go. Uh, can we talk to people now? Like in the old game, you could you could chit chat and increase your opinion with people, um, but I don't think that's in the game anymore. Now, if you click on someone, you actually punch them. <laughs> oh, look at that. This Dentini just got wrecked. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. I'm calling moron. There we go. Fighting's already broken out, and I just got here. So this is kind of new. They, the uh, people from the infirmary, pick up the, uh, the the loser and bring him over here. Hey Dan, you okay, pal? What you selling? Dan selling some duct tape. I don't have any money though. I think I'm broke. Sorry, Dan. All right. So let's. Uh, oh, it's free time. Yeah. Part of um, life in prison is figuring out what the uh, the schedule is, right? So that takes a little while. And we're going to talk to this fella here. The Wet Bandit. Oh, from uh, Home Alone, right? Used to get some respect, but for some reason, planning a big comeback, prank the scene. Oh, yeah, we have to flood Dan TDM cell. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Let's do it, chomps. All right. So now we got this quest tracker over here, which is, I guess, in a way that's kind of cool. Because it shows you here on the little radar exactly where we need to go do this job. Because the place is enormous. It's so much. Hey, Paul Soros Jr. How are we doing, Paul Soros Jr.? Hi. No, he doesn't like me very much. Hey, I'm, I'm La Cucaracha. You, and why are you dressed like me? Anyway, let's... Uh, oh, no, we don't have to do that. Well, we, well, let's check Dan TDM's desk first. He might have something decent that we might want to take, like... Uh, oh, a file. That is contraband, though. We have to be careful with that. Talcum powder. And that shows you how to use your inventory. Right, right, right. Like I said, been around the block. Now we got to stuff something in his toilet. Uh, hand cream. Flush it. It's flooded. <laughs> Deal with that, Danny boy. Dan gets beat up. Now his toilet's busted. So I think we got credit for that automatically. We don't have to go and talk to anybody, right? So yeah, what's done is done. So now let me just check. Let's bring up our quests menu over here. And yeah, it's been it's been completed. So let's pick a new one. Let's do this one right here. We need to deliver a tub of talcum powder to Gabe. All right. Let's get rid of that and deliver a tub of talcum powder. Now, unfortunately... Oh, there is talcum powder. Here we go. Free time. What is this all about? Show me a guy with a hammer. I'm not sure why it showed that guy. Oh, Paul Source Jr. just... Did you just flood that toilet, Paul Source Jr.? You're a bad man. I always knew it. I should whack you right now with this file. This is this his room? It's Bobby's desk. We're going to go through Bobby's desk and see if we can find that talcum. Got it. And let's grab a sock, too, because we can make a weapon out of this. All right, Paul Source Jr. <laughs> Jeez, I guess when you gotta go, you gotta go, huh, buddy? Wow, what a mess. That guy, he's got problems. All right, let's see if we can craft up a, um... Let's see if we can craft a shiv here. Oh, we can't make a comb shiv? How do you make a comb shiv? Oh, comb blade weapon. We need two of something. We need two of something. All right, well, we're not smart enough anyway, because I think my intelligence is, like, starts at 30. So, all right, let's go deliver this uh, talcum to Gabe. Hey, uh, Officer Wood, have you seen Gabe around? 
Oh, look at these chairs. Hey, I was just about to lay there. Who are you, Tony? What do you want? I want to find a screwdriver. All right, you know what? Let's get to lunch, Tony. We'll talk about it there. So Tony's carrying stuff. It's kind of cool that they show what's in their hands now. Look at Paul Sorge Jr. run from the flooded toilet. It was him, sir. I saw him do it. He flooded the toilets. <laughs> oh, Paul Sorge Jr. I used to be a big fan. Not anymore. Hey, Dan, how's, how's things? How's your toilet? A lot of toilet issues in this prison. All right, we're going to sit down, have something to eat. Oh, fight. Oh, fight. That guy's got a bat. He's just wrecking people. Who is that? Done. Now, who who is two people? Now, I can't go through their pockets anymore like we used to. No, they get picked up and carried away. You don't have time to go through their pockets. It's very interesting. Uh, what you eating there, Polly? Paul? Paul, I want to play? I'll play ball, Paul? I'll play ball? <laughs> hey, Martin, what can I do for you? Ooh, wait, is that Martin's quest? Oh, I can't get, I can't close that screen. Hey, Martin. Oh, Martin doesn't have a quest. Okay, it's it's this guy. Jess, what can I do for you? You want a med? You want some med kit? Yeah, all right. I'll find your med kit. Now, here's a very big change from the old game: is that when you bring up your menus, uh, the game continues to go. Can continue the, cl the clock keeps ticking. I'm late for what? Oh, it's job time. I don't have a job. All right, I better go because my my heat's go going up. 25 now. If you're not where you're supposed to be, do I have a job? Here's a good example why I don't like this non-pausing thing. I wish it would pause to let me... Oh, I'm unemployed. Because I like to look at stuff and read stuff because I don't even know what the heck's going on. Anyway, I guess we got to deliver the talcum into uh, the desk here. Where's the talcum? Boom! I guess we're done. Let's go. We did it! Favor complete! Oh, Paul Sorge Jr. has a, uh, has, a, has a mission. Paul, what can I do for you? It's a favor. I'm trying to do a good voice for Paul Source Jr., but I don't know what it is. I guess I just use my voice for Paul. So me and the gang are trying to finish that tricky second album. Thing is, we burn our old gear, so we need to find some new... Oh, you know what? You're not the first person that wants... In oh, it's the camera crew. Hi, camera crew. What can I do for you? I'm, sp I'm supposed to leave you guys alone. All right, I'll leave them alone. Locate bongos for Paul Source Jr. <laughs> I was just in this desk. Were there bongos here? I don't know. There are now, though. What else can we take while we're here? Oh, man. We're getting filled up. We're getting filled up. I don't even know what the crafting recipes are anymore. They, they seem to have changed pretty dramatically. Uh-oh. Wait, that's not a contraband detector. No, nah, no. Nah, okay. Because I think the file is contraband. See the red background? Red background means contraband. And you can't go through uh, detectors. Contraband detectors with that. Oh, here we go. Let's work out. Yeah. I got this. All right. Let's get hench, baby. So, Q&E, just slam him. Paul Source Jr., pick up the pain. <laughs> Paul, you're so, such a slacker. That Paul. Yeah, the trick here is just to uh, alternate Q&E on your keyboard and get your bar up to th this section over here above the two yellow uh, golden teeth or whatever the heck they are and keep it there. And, oh, man, this is hurting. Yeah, come on. Until the three green dots fill up. Whew. It's a lot of energy, but that's okay. It's shower time. So, oh, you're the camera crew. Wait, the camera crew's not coming to the shower. No, all right, I went the wrong way. So you gotta follow your little yellow arrow. So it's nice that that's back, tells you where to go to find your shower, and we'll just go in this one right here. Ah, close your eyes, peeps. Oh, look at me and my tidy whities Get under those armpits, man. Whoa, 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 what's up? What's up, Ossifer? Oh, someone's gonna get wrecked in the shower. Even this Paul Source Jr. just got whacked in the shower. I'm gonna go through his, his pants. Oh, Paul Source Jr. has a dead rat in his pocket. Oh, where you go with him? Hey, hey, what that rat? <laughs> it looked pretty tasty. Well, he's a survivor after all, right? One of the best. <laughs> that guy will eat anything to survive. Oh, let me go talk to this guy down here. Uh, is this your personal space? Oh. Sorry, not cool, he said. Sorry, Primly. Hey, Primly! Uh, my desk was due a shakedown, so in a panic I hid fruit. Problem is I can't remember where. All right, we'll go get the fruit, I guess. Um, man, there's so many quests, I'm not even sure what to do first. Oh, we got to go to dinner time. Let's follow the crowd. Everybody's booking it. Hi, Mac! Oh, see, he's using the, uh, the guard hall. I can't do that. Unless we get the right key. All right, let's uh, cut in line. Grab, grab the food, sit down, and eat. All right, I think we want to get Paul Soros Jr. his bongos. That'll be the first job. 
And we'll do some shopping soon, too. Hey, Paul Soros Jr., I, how's that rat doing in your pocket? <laughs> Let's go find some bongos. Paul's having a rough day today, so I think we should find some bongos. Oh, it's down here. That little push pin indicates the, uh, the quest location. And if there's an arrow on it, up or down, it means you're on, a, you know, you're on the wrong floor. All right, yeah, so that little pin, push pin, says go down. So we got to go down and try to find these, uh, d the double base, the double base for Paul. Right in, right in here. Now, don't go through desk when a cop is close by. Because if they see you, the uh, your heat goes up. There it is. It's a double, it's a double bass and a magazine. Oh, a trowel. It could be useful for digging. But now we're full. That's all right. We've got to get some of the stuff in our own desk, which is right here. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's way up top. All right, let's go deliver this thing to Paul. All right, Paul's right over here, right? Milling about in this room, whatever the heck it is. Hey, Paul. There you go, buddy. All right, so that's two instruments for that guy. He's got his bongos. Whoa, someone got wrecked. And now he's got the bass, so let's do something else. Let's, um, let's find Tony's screwdriver. Oh, Paul has another quest. What can I do for you, Paul? I'm your biggest fan. Do you find some instruments for me so I can thrash it out and blow away the musical... <laughs> Paul, it's my understanding you don't have a musical bone in your body. What's with all these musical instruments? Seriously. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not a musical person. So this is very strange. But I'll do it. I'll do it for Paul. He's a good guy. Now wait, Pat, what are you selling? Screwdriver is very good for opening up vents, I think. Or at least it used to be. I'm not even sure what any of this stuff is for. So, you know what? Sorry, gotta go. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with that right now. Let's go, um... Let's go through Pat's desk. Oh! Gosh, officer. Take the harmonica. And... Oh. Officer Wood never saw anything. Cool. Let's go give this to Paul. See, he's still hanging out in this room. He loves this room. Is this where you're gonna perform? Cheers, brother! Now, Paul, how we doing? He loves me. I'm your biggest fan, man. All right. So we're we're uh, we're on the we're on the good side of Paul Sears Jr. That's important to me. And now let's go see Mullo. Ooh, rope, screwdriver. This is all good stuff. I have a hundred coins, but I'm not sure what I need right now because I don't know what what's what. Oh, look at the doggies out there. Ooh, growling at us. That's not cool. What is wrong with that dude, Kathy? This place is enormous. You know what we should do? With a little free time, we should go get smart. Let's go get smart. This is... Oh, well, we're almost out of time. That's too bad. All right, so let's do this now. Whoops. The intellect is you hold down E and try to keep it in this little section and get smart. But I gotta go. We gotta go! Gotta get to roll call. Oh, roll call! Well, this is important. I'm moving it! I'm moving it! Sorry, Ossifer. Almost there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got it. We got to get here in time. Made it. Whew. Okay. The crickets are out. Uh, I guess we'll grab some more missions while we're here. I'm tired of leaming, crying like a baby about losing his magazine. Yeah, I'll find him one. Do that tomorrow, probably. Take this soap and give it to Bobby. If the guards catch you with it, don't mention me. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, that's it. Lights out. Return to cell. Turn to my cell, which is up this way. What are you freaking out about, Officer Wood? He's not happy about something. Day's over, man. You get to go to bed. Oh, wait. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, I didn't see who was getting the shakedown. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm off my game here. It's desk contents. You know what? I'll take that screwdriver out because that is contraband. And we'll just put it in here. Don't flush it, though. Just don't flush it with the file. And then walk away. Don't go to bed yet, because it might disappear. Let's see who my neighbors are. Bill billiard? Hey, Billiard! Night, Billiard. All right, doesn't look like we're getting the shakedown. So, I think I can grab that stuff. <gasps> Wait a minute. Where did it go? Oh, I have it in my hands now. Oh, that's weird. You used to be able to store stuff inside the... Uh the toilet. Maybe you can't do that anymore. Alright, well, we're just gonna chuck everything in here for now. Um, can I craft anything? We didn't craft a single thing today. No. We have, we don't have the ingredients to make anything right now. A pretend flower? 
Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to be crafted now. Uncooked pie. Interesting, but we need to uh, we need to get our intellect up much higher. We're only at 32 right now, so we can only make so we can only make these things. All right, well I guess that's it for the day, my friends. Um, we will have to continue in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. Very oh geez, I just screwed my bed <laughs> with my screwdriver. <laughs> oh, lights are on. Yay! All right, we'll we'll pick up right here in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm good to be back. It's good to be back in prison. Love it here. Feel at home. All right, we'll see you next time. What do you what what what? Oh, don't you dare go through my desk. Uh, uh. All right. Well, we don't we don't find out whose desk are going through until after roll call. I think we're good. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.